up? I'm Soren from New Politics and I'm going to give you a, a little tour of what we are touring in. And this is a beautiful van from Rocket Ships. It looks very much like what we used to tour in, but it's not. This is it. Follow me. This is where you drive. It's very funky. I drive all the time. This is what I do. I drive the band and I play guitar and I tech and everything. It's actually not true. I can't even drive. I don't have a license. We usually just switch um, drivers and our crew guys are awesome. So they, they drive the most. So this is uh, our lounge area, which is pretty awesome because the old van didn't have this area. And, and actually just the, uh, you know, whenever you drive 10 hours, it can be a really, really long drive. So just the fact that we can sit here and we have two TVs. So we can watch movies or you know whatever we have. Lightsabers, just in case some badass Sith comes by and he needs some whooping. We got some lightsabers. I am your father. <laughs> All right, we got a little kitchen area here. It's not much, but we have a microwave. We've never used it. I used it. I actually yeah, heated up a bun because it was too dry. And did it work? And then I picked. I took it out afterwards and realized it was green, so I threw it out. So it has this theoretically <laughs> never been used. We have a little freezer. A that little gets little used. Fridge gets used a lot for like, very important stuff like whiskey. For my raw almond. Coke. Mm -hmm. Most important thing on this bus that that everyone's forgetting to mention mm -hmm. is baby wipes. Nothing this else. is the only thing that gets us through through the weeks to the days. And uh, it helps our hygiene. I don't know if it helps our hygiene, but hey, it does <laughs> something good. It does something good. <laughs> then we have back here it's our box. Walk hard. And we have a. Uh, they're pretty awesome actually, and really comfortable. And there's something about when you're on tour that you wake up. You know, it's it's actually different because you wake up right next to the venue and you you kind of already in the mood. So this is pretty awesome. And then we have a hotel that we rotate, so whenever two people sleep in the hotel, usually, and then we can shower and stuff. So this is pretty much it. It's pretty awesome, actually. This is usually our crew sleeps, switches around here when whoever is driving, the other one is here. This one here in the middle is Lewis, who is his first pick. This one down here is a junk bunk. So I don't know if you want to film in there. It's pretty chunky. And this is our tour manager because he's a bigger guy. And then this is actually me, so I'm one of the lucky guys who got an ass bump. So here, this is every day our tour manager hangs up these things. This is our day sheet saying that tomorrow we're going back to New York. All right, so this is a day sheet for here. I have no idea what it is. Oh, that's the uproar day sheet. As you can see, we look at this all the time. Yeah, this one is set times, and here's our set list for today. <laughs> it's very organized. Our tour manager is very organized, and it's really awesome because we're not. These are our product. This is our cruise radios, and uh, I like to do this. This is what we, this is how we mess with the crew. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, guys. This is uh, Captain Vecchio speaking. We are going to be flying at 45,000 uh, feet this evening, and uh, we expect a smooth ride, maybe a few bumps over. Uh, two hours into the flight. Other than that, uh, we'd like you to sit back and uh, enjoy your flight. Thank you for flying with JetBlue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out our van and uh, see how we live and we'll see you out there on the road. So bye. Goodbye. I get the hell out of here. Get out. We got stuff to do.